Joined now by Doug Twaven and head coach of the Red Wing Boys basketball team. Doug, thanks for the time after practice. I appreciate it. I know it's been a bit of a struggle for you guys sometimes this season, but it looks like things have turned around of late. What can you pinpoint for that turnaround? Yeah, I'm not really sure. Um, you know, really the the second time through the conference, I thought our kids were uh, were a lot more competitive, a lot more close games. Um, and then, uh, you know, we kind of got in a roll uh, really shooting-wise. I thought our shooting percentage really went up, um, especially over the last couple weeks. And, and, and I think, uh, you know, when you shoot the ball well, that, that – uh, you know that momentum kind of rubs off on your defense and every other part of the uh, aspects of the basketball game, and I think that's that probably if you're going to pinpoint one thing is just just been the the increased shooting percentage and and um, you know kids playing with a little bit more confidence when the ball goes in the basket. And early in the year, I felt like every time we talked after a game, it was the same conversation. The you know the poor shooting percentage. Uh, is it just a matter of getting in the gym and, and keep keep firing, keep shooting shots, and, and hope things turn around? I, it it could be. You know, I think. Part of it is trying to get better shots, and part of it is is that um, just getting some confidence. And in, in whether um, maybe we dwelled on it too much early in the year and talked about you know us not shooting very well, and, and maybe that you know was in the kids' minds, and, and, or I, I'm not really sure. But um, for whatever reason, over the last uh, last couple of weeks, we've shot the ball really well, and, and we're certainly hoping that we can c continue it on Wednesday night. I imagine the situation uh, w with the ups and downs of the season says a lot about the character of your team. I've been on some good teams and some bad teams. Teams, and it seems like when things aren't going well, it's easy to kind of hang your head and, and, you know, oh, no, here we go again. Tell me about the character of the guys you've got. Well, that's one thing that we've been uh, really lucky with, and it, it really it goes back to last year. Last year we had a 13-game losing streak heading into the playoffs and then, uh, and then really played our best game of the year in the first round of the section and uh, have a lot of the kid, same kids back and you have a bunch of kids who are, um, you know, raised the right way. You know, they're, 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 they have great parents who, uh, you know, instill in them a, a great work ethic. And, and even when things are, are not going our way, the keep, kids keep on coming to practice and working hard and, and trying to do the best they can. And um, we were kind of at that point, I felt this year, where, you know what, it, it had gone so poorly for us for a long stretch, I, I wasn't sure I was going to get them back. And then uh, we played New Prague and had that great second half. And, and since then, the intensity has really gone up again. And, um, you know, that was that was great medicine for us, that game right there. And, and like I said, it's given us momentum. And, and it's get, kind of given the kids some renewed energy, too. Yeah, you, you hear a lot of times in sports, you need to be playing your best basketball, your best hockey at the end of the season. Do you think you guys are doing that? Oh, I definitely think so. I mean, I think if you look at the scores the first time through the conference as compared to the second time, you can see that our kids have improved. Um, I think our attitudes are great. You know, a lot of teams at this point of the year with, you know, with only six wins might not have a, you know, as pod positive attitude. And I think the kids really feel good about our chances uh, in, in the section, you know, to see if we can advance and win a couple games. You know, it's, um, you know, our hockey team is, our, both of our hockey teams have done so well and our girls basketball team is doing so well. And I think that that momentum, you know, just from our school kind of, kind of, pays off for, for the boys too. So I think they're kind of using the momentum from the other teams, you know, to try and, you know, get a little bit going for themselves. Personnel wise, tell me a little bit about some of the guys. Have you seen things from players that you weren't really expecting coming into the season, some guys stepping up? I think Isaac Seavely is probably the one that has probably stepped up more than anything as far as showing so much improvement. He is a, you know, probably six five kid last year who just played on the B team and, and now um you know, he's about six seven, six eight and and you know really nice player on the varsity team and we have him for another year so we're really excited about that um i also think that our two uh, senior captains mitch ernie and colin quinn have really had nice basketball seasons colin has really stepped up his game over the last month and, and mitch has probably been a little bit more consistent but right now both of those two are really playing at a super high level and we're going to need that if we want to continue our season you know if we don't play at a high level on wednesday night you know we're we're, we're going to get beat because austin's a very solid team um but you know, then you have the two, the you know, Pat and Coleman Kelly. I think have been real solid, and obviously, Pat had a couple games where he shot the ball extremely well. And if he has a game like that tomorrow night, we're really tough to beat. You know, we haven't been beaten a game where he shot over fifty percent. You know, so if he can get some threes going down, boy, I tell you what, that really opens it up for everybody else. So, um, like I said, I know the kids are excited about tomorrow night, and I think I, I mean I'm real excited about our chances in, in the section. And what can you tell us about that opening round game? What are you looking at heading into that? Well, I mean, Austin is a team that, that was 500, a team that we played over Christmas break, and I think we beat them by four or five. But it was a really close game, and they're very similar to us. You know, they have some seniors who are the leaders on their team. Um, they don't have one kid who's extremely big and physical, but they do have a, a kid who's probably going to be the best player on the court. That's Connor Gunderson, and I think he averaged about 18 or 19 points, and we're going to have to slow him down tomorrow night. But, um, you know, 
I think, um, I think we, we match up well with them, and I'm sure that they're feeling that they match up pretty well with us. Um, I think it's going to be a really close game. Um, you know, we've played them twice in the last two years, and, and, and both games have come down to the last possession. So uh, I'm sure it's going to be another close game tomorrow night, and hopefully, uh, you know, we'll respond to that challenge. Coach, best of luck. Thanks for your time. All right, thank you. We'll be right back.